And for people who eat crabs a lot, instead of throwing away those bushels of crabs that you have left, I suggest just take the time out or know somebody who will take the time out to go ahead and just get that lump of meat out. Surprisingly, this crab meat is expensive in the stores as well. It's just a piece of crab meat. Oh, you want it in there? No, it's going to eventually end up in here. But the lump meat was so nice. It was so clean. It was so yeah. thick. No, you cannot have it, babe. I, have it out of the thing. I put it back. It's not in sanitary. No, it's not. I have on gloves. <laughs> so anyway, um, I grew up from in Maryland, so we grew up making and eating crab cakes. But I had I do have a small shortcut today, and um, you never tried crab. Oh my god, it's so good. Sure. And while we're while we're sitting here talking about it, I found this place. It's called Lytle Little Little whatever. I call it Lidl. Lidl, L-I-D-L. L-I-D-L. There's like the, the, it's this new, store. this it's new, and this is not a, a small can, baby. What am I going? I'm, I can't do anything with a twenty dollar can because it's so small for can. But this was like one pound, and it was twenty nine at K Roger, which is we know is my hey mommy, which we all know is my favorite Hello. grocery store of all times. So, um, thank you, Mike. So, where did I find the jumbo? I found the jumbo lump crab meat at Kroger, and it's and it's. To twenty nine ninety nine for a little pound of it. Very small amount. Yeah, but we mixed it with the special, and the special crab meat was nineteen ninety nine for one pound. So I'm mixing them together. We have to break this up, mix it. Now, earlier today, I already went through. Hey, Sherilyn. Hi, everybody. I, w I already went through and um and felt around for any. Like leftover, like pieces shell. of shell. Oh, it's pronounced Lidl. Thank you. Lidl, whatever. Yeah, I went there and I got a, uh, I got a Dutch oven for twenty four dollars ninety nine cents. Just it's put it up over there. the, uh, the Dutch oven. Yes, yeah, it's it's, up, it's where the Dutch ovens go. It's pink. You want to show the people? No. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this up just a little bit, just to incorporate both of them together. Okay. And this isn't gonna take long to see, just waiting for just waiting for it to fall, aren't you? Just mm -hmm. it's just shameful, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. so there is a very very small cheat, okay, yeah. for making crab cakes. Yeah. Babe, can you open up the the uh, the mayonnaise? Yeah. Now I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna be honest. This is the only mayonnaise that I use. It's my favorite, and this they're not giving me a dime. They are not, you know, supporting or sport or we're not. Um, Brand ambassadors for the Marine, thing like that. But hi, my Kroger friend. Um, Dukes, that's the, that's the only one. That's the only one. That's the one for me. That's the one for me. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a, a good, no, it's not that much. Okay, you gotta buy more. We wanna do like a half a cup. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna get some more mayonnaise, Jesus. Half a cup. Cause we might need some more of this. It, yeah, we do. And so now I have all my ingredients, but y'all see this right here. This is a cute little cheat because I don't put um, breadcrumbs usually in my uh, crab cakes, but this little classic mix, I found it. I saw it. I was like, let me try this. And it was good, and it already and, and it already has um, uh, breadcrumbs in it, and it's the high chef Vanessa. Hey, mommy. So we're just gonna put some of this in here. We're just gonna dump it on in because we have two pounds anyway. Okay. So it comes with um, egg solids and milk solids, blah blah blah. But you, you can't skimp on certain things. Okay. So it's not more than half a cup. But I eyeballed it. It's fine. Pat. How about that? So, and then to this, I'm gonna add some chopped onion. It's about a this about a quarter cup, about a quarter cup of chopped onion. Quarter cup. We're just gonna dump it on in there. Boom, bam, ow, what? So we're gonna put that in there. You put in as much or as little garlic as you want. So I can't tell people how much garlic to put in. Okay, we like garlic, so. We're using garlic. Mama called them clay. I call them clay. So that's what we're using. I'm going to put a good bit of it in there. And then if Bond tells me I can put in the rest, we can. 
Put that juice in there, though. Ew. Okay? We're going to give this a quick little mix. As a matter of fact... We're going to use... One of Miss E's wooden spatulas. I'm just going to incorporate this. Now, I would not be me. I would not be a Braxton. I would not be a Marylander. And y'all not going to talk about me real bad. Why? Because Trina has to do what? Trina has to add in some more Obey. Because <laughs> that's how we're going to do it. I, I do have the girl. Just, hey, Bill Burgos. Hey, friend. Y'all, Bill Burgos. Has been my friend for years and 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 years. How's the family? How's your wife? The kids? Hey, Bill. We have a mutual friend. Oh, I already told him. You told him John Hyde. Yeah. So hey, John Hyde too. So I put in like a good half a tablespoon of Obey, just because. And it's oh, mommy, you spelled wrong. It's EvelynBraxton.com to get her um to get her wooden spatulas. Now, some people might think this is good and wet enough. Trina doesn't. Now, even though we have um, the, the crab mix from Obey, I still need to put an egg in there for binding. Okay? Got to have a binder. So we're going to do that. Add a little bit of mustard. What's up, escape patient? And this is, you can add deli mustard and stuff if you, if you want to. Some people um, add some hot sauce. I'm out of mine. Cam said lots of garlic. Yes, love lots of garlic. Mm -hmm. And just a little smidge. So this right here is maybe half, half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Uh, this is fresh lemon juice. I sliced and squeezed it. Yeah, so I'm just going to put like, like a half of that half. Because mm. I'm going to use this for my, my Romulade-ish-esque type sauce. North Carolina. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn on my... Here, you go ahead and stir this. Mm -hmm. I forgot to turn on my grease. Mm -hmm. So, I'm turning on my grease, y'all. But guess what Trina's using? Yeah, but I had to turn it off because I went to scorch. Who remembers this? Mm -hmm. This is what I am making. Everybody. I'm using Kroger brand. Hey, Kroger. Um, and it's on sale right now. Um, you can buy whatever brand you want. Crisco still works. And but so does the Kroger brand, and it's um, two dollars cheaper. So we're gonna go ahead and and let that vegetable shorten or lard or whatever you want to use. What's up, Excuse me, baby. We gotta hey, keep Mel. stirring. Hello from hey. And we're just gonna keep fold stirring. Well, I was doing that. Yeah, but you stopped. So when people put bread comes in, you know, it's like a little filler, a little bit more goes a longer way. And right now, this is what it looks like for us. Uh-oh, I got a little piece that I missed. Right here, just a little piece of the crab. Hey, did you set aside crab meat for yourself? You have to cook it. There's this raw no. egg in it. Oh, shit. Yeah, put it. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some other stuff to it. Hello from St. Louis. My husband's from the Lou. Hello, Indianapolis watching. That thank you. Hello, Mr. Bond. Don't eat it. It has raw egg in it. Don't do that. Well, it didn't before, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, so yeah. So this is cooked up. Uh this is mixed up very nicely. What's up, KT? You too. Bond and I have been running errands all day. They said somebody said you look tired. Shout out to my nephew Conrad who's in town. Hey Conrad, hey. Hello from Detroit. Okay, so we're gonna let this just, just sit here for a second. We're not gonna bother it. And we're gonna check on our on our oil. It's not all the way melted yet. Because this, this takes a little bit longer to melt, but the end result for the flavor is just like everything. This is real old school and this will fix what ails you every little time. Boom to the boom to the boom to the boom. You just saying that? Uh, no, this this from your grandma. I and, know, but what and them. You can put it on your your joints. You can put it on your lips. Really? 
Mm-hmm. If it's chat, no. some people, some people use it to grease themselves up a little bit when they're a little ashy. You don't use it when it's already used. I know. You 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 pre-use it. You use one. And I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be shiny all day. You use one to use whatever lard, whatever we used to use to um to shine first our bike tires and then our car tires before Armor All came out. I'm gonna take mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It works in cookies, it works in uh when you're frying chicken, of course, it works. And pie crust, it makes it's great with biscuits, all of that. And you know, we don't. Um, thank God we don't have a cholesterol problem in this house. But no, I, I used. Um, I did not uh, separate the crab myself, but it was it was pretty fresh crab from from Kroger. I will say that K Rogers makes them makes it really fresh. So it was a plastic container, but it had like a can top on it. So. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm gonna put just a little bit more garlic in here. Yeah, we're, we're garlic people. I'm not gonna lie. We just we're just garlic people. So how many how many cakes do you gotta make this amount you got here? Um, since I'm making smaller ones, I go in um sliders. Mm. This will make about twelve of them. Wait, okay. What kind of bread do you make? Slider time. bread. Oh. And then I'm gonna make my romulade sauce. Okay? Yep. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So what do you want me to I need the uh, mayonnaise again. Okay. So we're gonna need another spoon. I'm not gonna make a lot. So we're just gonna put it on the sandwiches. There we go. Boom. We still have to season it, okay, guys? We still have to season it. Yes, I have tried garlic paste, but I'm out of it. Now I'm gonna use this fresh lemon, but I'm gonna just take it into my hand and over my, we just want like a little teaspoon. I'm putting it directly over so it, it grabs the seeds. So I don't have to worry about that. A little more Old Bay, because we don't want to overly uh, season stuff. Uh-oh. I got a little bit of a seed right here from the fresh lime, up, up, up from the uh, lemon. And we're just going to mix this up real good. Mix it up real good. You Marylanders know what I'm about to do. Ketchup has to go in. We're going to do about a, about a tablespoon. This is for your crab, so. There's going to be romulotin today. I'm saying. Hmm. What are you saying? I'm saying is that the same thing you make when you eat crabs? So. Mm-hmm. Now, some people put um a little relish in theirs. I'm not doing it because I don't like it. Some people put a little bit of vinegar in theirs. I'm not doing it because I don't like it. But I am going to put a little salt and pepper in this. Oh, good. This is, that's good. This is great to start cooking now. Oh, well, there's my teaspoon of salt. No cornmeal or anything over there? No, no cornmeal. We we got the um the Old Bay uh, crab cake classic mix mm -hmm. is what we so put in there. You got something. Okay. So a binder. Yeah, and I have the egg as a binder as well. Pepper, because my husband loves pepper. I'll mix it up really good. Thanks, babe. And we're going to mix, 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 mix. And while we're waiting, I have the oven on 350 so that we can go ahead and make the next portion. After, Baby, can you please put, put that crab meat, please, back in the bowl? You can't Robert eat that. saves the day. I agree. You can't eat that. All right. Thank you. All right. Just mix that on up. Why do I need to put shoes or socks on at my house and my floors go are clean? Away. Go away. What you mean? Go, go do something else. Turd, go away. Vaughn. Vaughn. What? Okay? No. Don't. Thank you. Why don't you go with them as hard as you go with me? That, that, well, you're not bothering anybody. I didn't put green pepper in there because my husband's not a real big fan of... Hey, Corey Rooney? Yeah, I don't like this. I hadn't seen you in 879 years. How are you? Hey. 
Uh, this is writer, producer extraordinaire, Corey Rooney, love you. Um, so I was gonna put some of this, which I absolutely love and adore. This right here is everything. However, I don't want to um, over season, cause that's not cute. It's not cute. I'm glad you put bell pepper because it takes away from the flavor of the crab meat. It's so overpowering. Yeah, my, my husband doesn't like it. And so I have, to, I, have to cook, I have to cook it the way it works in my household, so. And that's the way it is. Huh. All right, so now we can put these into little balls and put them on our lard. You just drop them right on the fire. We just, we're going to just drop them right on right, 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 that hot grease, smooth. So don't make me mad when I'm cooking today. Lady Jam, we like you. No, it's not. Right. It, it, oh, someone has this like thousand island dressing. Nah, not quite. No, it doesn't. The, the base, the base seems very similar though. I'm tell you, it doesn't taste like it because if it did, I would eat it. Well, because it has the old bay in it, it has the the lemon in it, blah blah blah. But everyone does theirs a little differently. Thank you. So, I appreciate that. Thank you. What happened? No. So, I'm gonna make these real small and tiny because it's gonna go in a little slider. See that? They can't make them any bigger. They're going into slider buns. You want a big one for yourself, baby? Yeah. Yes, you can have whatever you like. They're supposed to be. They're going in. They're sliders. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's not hot enough yet. I turned it up some. So what I should have been doing was like pre-making them. I can't find my cooling rack. So my, one of my children was like, hey, can you give me some parchment paper? Yeah. You can't find the cooling rack. Can't find the cooling rack. Right Is it? Oh, thank God. I'm going to need that later. Can I get some parchment paper, though? Yeah. Okay, can I do one thing at a time? One thing at a time, yes. Yep, hot now. One sheet. Yeah, it's hot now. Trina, one sheet. Uh, I don't need it. I'm just going to just do them and put them in. What? I'm just going to do them real quick and put them in. You don't want one of these now? Nah. This will be fine. Yep. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be so good. I like the way this little lump looks. Cause I'm gonna eat it. Just form them icy so they can just go ahead on the on little mini buns. Except for Vaughn, cause I have to make one specially for him. Just one. Excuse me a bit. Just one. There's no way you're gonna get 12 out of that. Well, I'm making them a little bit bigger. Okay, cool, cool. For you. They move your Marlin, face. No, I'm leaving. We'll switch. Marlon. <laughs> I hear you. It just gets, gets old. What gets old? Well, so far I have one, two, three, four, five in there. Excuse me. What's up, Rhonda? Lindsay? What's six? Seven, eight, nine, maybe ten then. Yeah, yeah so ten you instead of twelve. Space, you're have to do them in That's fine. And you said you wanted me to do the buns here? Yes. There we go. Maybe I'll, but just for the sake of what's going on, I'll make one more. And then I have to make a big one for Vaughn. So. I'm over here flicking. Wait a minute. How much? Doing this, how long will these cook? Uh, you just want them to, to be golden brown on these side. So how long will they cook? Give me a, um, about five minutes. to six minutes on these side. Okay. On each side. Okay. On each side. So don't brown these yet. Gotcha. Not yet. Yeah. Let's take a look. They'll they'll float around a little bit before they get ready all the way. A little bit, a little bit. So you don't want them to stick to the pan. If they're sticking to the pan, then they're definitely not done. So we have um, just enough more for Vaughn to have his huge. Um, God, it's going to be huge. Let me see. It's enough to make it. It's going to be huge, dear. So, so now while we're doing that, hey, Nivia. Hey, Fred Jerkins. What's up, bro? Um, so now we are going to start the other meal portion, which is our dessert. So. I am going to bring some other things over. 
Well, yeah, if you can clear this stuff out to the side. Just need to move that over some. Sliced apples. And these are canned croissants. Okay? And I'm going to also need canned croissants. She called them crescents or something. She called them something weird. Caressants. Something. Caressant rolls. All right. So I've already, um, with the help of Jennifer, peeled and cored these apples. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on the uh, the largest wedge side, okay? Yeah, we're having company, but just not yet. And I let this dough sit out a little bit just to make it a little bit more pliable because we have to like tuck and clip and all that other stuff. So we're making it just like a, cr a crescent roll. See that? There's just an apple in it. I'm just going to pinch it. Pinch it closed. You need to pinch it. And I'm just going to put these in my little Dutch oven. And I'm going to be honest. I want to try these because some lady put mountain uh, a citrus soda, put it that way, in there. So I'm going to pinch these, and so we're going to just continue to pinch them. Well, Vaughn is going to continue to pinch them while I look at these crab cakes so I don't burn them. Not yet. But they look good. We need to roll them. These. Oh, you want me to do it? Ooh. Gonna roll them up. I'm not even gonna do both packs today. Uh, cause what if I don't like them? Oh, that's what you bought those things for. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Very easy. Roll them on up. What else do you put in there? You just put one. Uh, one apple per crescent roll. Like this apple right here. Like that, that, like that apple. Like you don't want your gloves? No. I just, this one's mine. I'm going to roll it down. But how are you going to know which? Babe, it's not going to work. Double is not going to work. Did you roll from the short end to the No, big you roll from the wide end. The big end to the short okay. Yeah. Come in. They can't do that. Oh. Whoever it is, I told them. You come out to seven, they know what the I will I will put cinnamon on it in just a second, guys. So while he's doing that, you have to pinch it, pinch the edges. What? Oh, the to cover it, you mean? Mm-hmm. So while he's doing that, I need which other one is that? Two sticks of butter. A portion of which bun used. Well, I didn't know. Don't use Mr. Brown to uh, put lines on the one. Two sticks. And now mind you, my um my oven is on 350. Damn it, I hate when this door is left open. Okay, so we are going to take, first let's check on our, uh, we're not a what? No, we're not. Well, we are out here because we've got more apples. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. And. and this is fine. This is Bam. Well, wait, wait, wait. This is eight. We're good. Well, it'll be nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we can. There you go. Where, where do you see room for nine, ten? Because you don't know, babe. No, Sorry. I, I don't. I don't. And it's okay. Just squeeze them a little closer together. That's oh, all. I see. So we get five. And then a few going and down there. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. They used to scare me. They used to scare me when I was a kid. What? When it popped open, oh, we used to love doing it. it was like pop goes the weasel. It used to be a lot louder. Yeah. My brother and I used to love that. Okay, so we're letting this melt. This butter. Our crab cakes are going really nicely. I have them on. I have them on medium heat, by the way. She's adding uh, medium heat. Tommy bites. She's adding cinnamon at some point. Babe, I need you. The like, dough gets hard. I don't know what to do with this. You unroll it? Yes. 
Wait, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it. Just tell me what to do. I'll help you unroll it. I want you unroll it. I'll make. Well, because I have three different, I have two different things already on here. No, no, not time to turn them over yet. They'll fall apart. Just go and roll it. I then just break them off the way I want. Yep, break them off, break them off a piece hey, of hey, that phone. Can you save that or does it have to be used? Um, This doesn't save well. Okay, so let's just use it all? Yes, all right. if we can. We have enough apples, yes. Cool. We just don't have enough space. Yeah. We do. Not in the thing. Why don't you use your brand new Dutch oven that you use? Why don't you use your brand new Dutch oven that you spent on that money? Are you pointing Okay, I'm going to take another one of my. No, I didn't play with my ice maker. It's not time to play with ice maker. Another one of my cooking with Miss E. Wooden utensils, huh? Mm -hmm. So we're going to stir this up so that our butter doesn't brown. And these are almost done. I love that fuzz like you get on your crab cakes. That looks amazing to me. Oh, yep, time to flip. Like Flip Wilson. Yeah, they're fuzzing up real good too. <laughs> Let me turn them down a little bit. They're reacting very well to the Lord, as you guys call them. Thank the Lord! <laughs> And so, as a matter of fact, anything that we make, if you guys choose to make them, huh? Did I get a new dish soap? No. Well, okay, absolutely, yeah. It's down there. It's a um, different brand. He's still using Dawn, y'all. I'm still using it because somebody bought another one. Don't don't get me started because I never mind. You never say it anywhere. So I started um, washing dishes, and hey, where's the uh, cooling like rack? You said squeezes out more. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Which said the cooling rack was? It's right there. Oh, right. see, look, see, you didn't even know where you put it yourself. No, I did. I, I didn't see it. It was dark. Longer. Cooling rack. I need some parchment paper. You said you didn't need it. Uh, I changed my. Are we are, are we out of the? No, it's right there. Okay, because I have some that's already pre-cut. Right I like the pre-cut ones. Okay. We're done. I'm going to go to you and work this up and I'll you in a second. Let me see. Before. Well, can you move that one over? Which one? Just that one. Which one, man? That one right there. Move it over this way. That one. That's it. That's it. This one. This one right in particular. I'm no, move it this way. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Okay, so while we're doing that, we are waiting for like our butter, and then we add a cup and a half of sugar. And we're just gonna stir it until it melts down. Now as it melts, to this we're going to add A little cinnamon, maybe about a, a tusk of cinnamon, some vanilla, that's about a tablespoon of vanilla. And then just for flavor's sake, we're going to add a, like a, literally a pinch, look, pinch of, flour, of, of salt, just to bring up the flavors. And we're just going to stir. It smells really great already. I'm not gonna lie. Where's the what? Okay, we're gonna put this on simmer so that it doesn't burn. What's up? These look really good. So we need about four more minutes. I'm going to say three just for safekeeping. For these, on, we're on medium. Mm. No, it doesn't. I know. Yeah, it doesn't. It's dark yeah. 
Sorry, it's not our fault either. We're gonna still stir until all, until you can no longer hear like the granulation of the sugar. You so you don't want to scorch it. Oh my gosh, I've loved cooking since I was a kid. Actually, I was just always told I couldn't, but I really can. Like, I used to pretend I had my own cooking show when I was a kid. We all pretty much did, so. so we're going to continue to stir. Now, mind you, there is no water in this, okay? None. It's gonna keep. This is two sticks of butter, a cup and a half of sugar, um, a tisp of uh, salt. What's a tisp? Is that well, actually, it was like a pinch of salt. Okay. Um, what did I use? A tisp of like cinnamon. Pinch, pinch, pinch at the end of the apple. That's it. Yep, pinch, pinch, pinch. That's what. What well, did this cup? Right. Now they can't stop eating my food. I don't know what that means. Is there a book on the No, I'm not trying to do a cookbook. I'm not. I'm honestly not. Are you? Are you just pre-doing these so they can fit in there? You want to squeeze them or no? I, I sure or you want to just let them rise? They're gonna cook together. I mean, but it's, they're they're degrees of separation. So no. Okay. I, I just do them no, 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 no. It's fine. We'll we'll do another batch. There's only three. But what else you want? To plan on doing with them? You know you have like your favorite eye in the kitchen. That's not my favorite eye. This one is my favorite eye. I was gonna put this on a board, but I was like, nah, there's not enough on here. Let's take a look at these. They look splendid. They're not done yet though. We cook quietly like that. Well, I turned them down a little bit. Yeah, so they're looking really great already. Uh, what? What'd you say? No. But what? Okay. I like how many quiet is. You cry chicken so loud. But I need these things to hurry up so I can put this on a different eye because it's not cooking the way I want it to. This right here. You got two other ones. No, but it's in the way. That this uh, is in the way. It's too big. Should I do the yes, bread you should do the bread. Cause we already have our romulad sauce stuff. Oh, by the way, I gotta take off my gloves for this. That's Mountain Dew. I mean citrus soda. For what? For the um for the dumplings. And I hate to do this in the kitchen, but I received this box from Glass Productions with, from Tokyo, Tokyo Styles. And, well, because I hadn't un, done it yet. Okay, good. And so Tokyo sent me, oh, got to be glued bonding glue. Cause I know she, uh, cause Tokyo has a um, ambassadorship with Got to Be Glued. Blasting freeze spray. Looks like some kind of pomade right here. Shine pomade. And smooth and hold mousse. Thank you, Tokyo. Thank you, Tokyo Styles. Who has a show coming on WeTV? And so another thing happened to me. So last night, okay, I'm an iceaholic. I'm not going to lie. I love ice. It's a problem. It is. And on top of it, it's a problem. But there are worse things to have addictions to. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is about done. Great. What's that timer for? For um the crab cakes that are done now. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Don't you love it? No, I'm trying. I can't. Oh, there we go. Look, look, look. You say yes. I say yes. You say no. I say yes. Uh, uh, uh. 
Watch Born, I bet I can make you sweat. Damn. Let me quest line. Oh, 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 oh. I got to drain it a little bit more. It's okay. It'll, it'll drain. I got it. I still want to lose the shape. All right. Well, it's not going to. They're, they're pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm trying not to. Okay, it's going to drip off and burn you. It's not that. That's why the plate. All right. We're running out of spots. One more. Ready? Watch mm -hmm. I got it. Go. And these, these are way larger than slider size, thanks to the. But here they are. I still have to make his. But before I do that. So you ate like this, baby? Yes, put them down. Yeah. Okay, so now this part is done. It's going to look like this, nice and thick. See that? See how thick this consistency is? You see that? And we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour this directly. Is that rain or is that wind? We're gonna pour this directly on to our roll ups, I'll call them. Excuse me. There we go. And what they say to do, now I've never tried this before in, 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 in us world. Nothing. Like in, in the world of Von and Trina. Okay. Then we're supposed to take some of this citric, citrus soda and put that on top of that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what it calls for. I guess I'll, I'm, I'm going to do half of this. I'm not going to do all of it because it's submerged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I don't want that. No, we're not gonna drain it because it's gonna drain all the good stuff too. So so far, this, so far, this is what mine looks like. So no, no, too fast, too fast, baby. Too fast. So so far, this is what mine looks like. Give me a sec, because the camera has to focus. So. Well, I don't want it to get soggy. I understand. Okay, come on. I'm gonna pop this in a three fifty degree oven that's already been preheated. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need water in that thing. Or not? I don't, but I'm not gonna take it out right now. Yeah, understand. Ooh. So this supposed to cook for thirty five minutes. On, well, the grease is going to stay on because I'm making your stuff. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put his old funky crab cake. Because you got to be doing something different. Mine. 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 That's from a movie. So, yeah, and Vaughn's getting this big old crab cake right here. Because he's spoiled. That's a big behind crab cake, but Ozzy Wozzy. Kiss and tellsy. All right. So, Vaughn is making the, um, the slider bread part. Yeah. How long are these sandwiches then? Uh, a good seven minutes. On each side? On each side. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's what it's been for these, but they look amazing. No, and we can... This. Oh, that? Yeah. You didn't say that. Yes, I did for my thing. You said I was making well, it So how long? Uh, two minutes. So, like I was saying, so yesterday, I did not have any more ice, and I was losing my absolute and utter mind. I'm going to tell you what my sister Tawanda did. My sister Tawanda, yep. there was a package waiting for us at the door, mm -hmm. and guess what she got me? I'm going to bring it to you. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Tawana bought me this, and I can't wait for Vaughn to clean it out so I can use it tonight. Very excited about it. Thank you, Umba. Did you tell everybody what it was? It's an ice maker. Okay, now they say she bought me an ice maker. Okay. She bought me an ice maker. That small? I don't think so. 
and they have to be installed. I'm eating all the apples that were going to be wasted. Hey, babe, check on the um the buns. Wash your hands and check on the buns. I like big buns, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. You know that song. Okay, so it's kind of difficult because we're in our kitchen, as you guys know. We are definitely in our own kitchen. You don't flip them. You do. You do flip them. I would have flipped. I would have done them the white side first, the inside first. Why well, didn't I ask you? I didn't know. I said it like this, and you said, "Yeah, and I put them in the." Way I, it I didn't. I didn't know what you were talking okay, about. Sorry. It's fine. It's still nice and buttery and delicious. Oh yeah, man. You can smell it. You can smell the crab cake. It's so good. Uh oh, my Kinder's collection. Y'all have a problem with Kinder's. It's, it's, it's so delicious. Was it on sale yet? It's not on sale yet, but sometimes, if you guys can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see my Kinder's collection. Sometimes, sometimes they're on sale two for six. But they're normally five ninety nine, no matter where you go. Not bad. It's not bad. It'll last, huh? It last. Hmm. It kind of last. If, if you cook like a normal person, you know. You're a normal person. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, I had to had to, to self correct. Yeah. Had self correct. Vaughn is not burning the bread. Someone said, "Get the tongs, Vaughn." Yeah. So a couple of weeks ago. I don't know what it was, but I got something out of the oven. Mm -hmm. and, and you the, burned yourself. The metal part. Mm -hmm. And it's like you can feel in your palm right here. You can feel like ridges, like your hey, camera. Um, mm -hmm. But this is feeling right here. It's smooth because it melted. Like feel this and then feel how smooth that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it melted all my skin. Hey, Dr. Umba, I was just talking about your fabulous gift of the ice machine that I absolutely adore. But babe, it's not like you're not gonna really you're gonna really use the tongs. They're back I there. Burn, I burn my finger. They're right back there. Hurry right up yeah. so I can flip over your little funky crab cake that you just had to have by yourself. Yeah. Why not? But it's all almost done, you guys. But yeah, I got my ice machine. Um, thank you. Uh, no, that's grease pops. You have to be careful. But they're not brown on the inside. They're no char mark. It looks amazing, babe. I'm sorry. It looks great. You told me to take them out. And then, uh, it looks so delicious. Yeah, they don't. They don't. I didn't do it right. So anyway. Right. No? They're not right. They're, they're really not right. Mm. They're not like ruined, but I, I know what you were trying to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it. So. Okay. Mm. Still edible. Well, you know what? Right now, it's cranberry juice with ice. And a little bit of vodka. So, okay, while you're doing that, let me let me turn your crab cake over. Because this is nice and large. I'm talking about the crab cake. It's very big. His crab cake is. It's what the, I didn't doing that. I didn't say anything. All I did was say his crab cake is large, extra large. You see how big your hmm. you see how big your crab cake is. That looks normal. Do we have onions and uh, tomato or no? No, I was just gonna do like a little ramen on there because I was making them many small oh, ones. Sure. Do we, have any we do have onion left. We have oh, red gosh. onion and white onion. We do, it's right here. Yes, we do. Oh, you know what? I can do without the tomato, but the onion is a must. Well, there's onion inside of the crab cake. Yeah. All right, so I I I can't show you the apples because they're still they're, in the oven. They're cooking. Yeah, they they have to cook, and I've I've never eaten that before. I to be honest. So yeah. when I saw it online, I was like, that can't possibly be delicious. You'll know when we know. So we we'll, we gonna know at the same time, and you guys know that he's gonna absolutely tell the truth. So. I don't know about that. Mountain Dew. Excuse me. Well, that that was part of the um 
the recipe. Babe, that, that knife isn't good for that. Do whatever, do, do whatever you want. You can do what you want to do. So these are the buns. Well, a couple of them, mission accomplished. Three out of the eight. So. You gonna leave skin on there too while you cut it? Well, I'm gonna put peel it off. Mm, okay. Don't you have something to do? What do you say? I didn't. I didn't say. I, I didn't say a word. I just I don't want to I, didn't, I, I, I understand. I understand, sir. I understand. So while we wait for all that, I'm gonna put this stuff in the sink for my sous chef. Thank you so much, dear. You've been so helpful and so great. Thank you. So as far as these. Um, Crab cakes that didn't exactly turn out to be slider size because my husband was complaining that they were too small. That's perfect. They exceed the bun by a little bit. That's awesome. So we're going to take just a little plate. I need it too. I need it two sticks of butter. I bet you're going to do your bun right, aren't you? You're going to put it face down. You're going to do it right? Okay, so we're going to take this. Put a little rhombi light sauce on there. Or a little Maryland sauce, as I like to call it. And I like mine on the top and the bottom bun. Everybody does not. You getting cheese on yours, babe? No, no cheese for me. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Cause it's already very flavorful. Take this delicious crab cake. Good luck. Mm. Mm. So we'll flip that over. He had onions on this, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with onion. I need to um, sharpen the the, uh, the knives though. Mm, mm, mm. Why do we need potatoes? Look at how delicious that is. What is it? It's the inside of the crab cake. Did you eat it yet? No, I didn't eat it yet. Did you put mayonnaise on there? Or... I already put the sauce on there. The sauce. Needs a pickle and onions. Eat this. It's a good fire. Oh, man. I don't need a thing. Mm -hmm. It don't need a thing because it's already got that swing. Drop, 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 drop. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, now you love me again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, move it up. It's going to burn. Come on, it's going to burn. Let me kiss first. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be happy if I burn your crab cake. This delicious golden fried. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. It's perfection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, babe. Why haven't I had these before in six years? How tall is he? He's 6'5". Why? Have I not had one of these before? I'm six years, it's in trouble. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Like my crab cakes, crab cake. <laughs> not all. <laughs> you didn't have to join in. <laughs> Thank you.
That's really good. <laughs> You're welcome. He ain't married me for my cooking. Well, actually, yeah, he married me for that too. But you know. <clears throat> No so it's pretty delicious. What now? It, right? it does. How much mayonnaise? Mostly. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. The base is mayonnaise. It's good. Oh, but we can remove this out of the way so that people don't talk over the food. Ow. You see how he did his perfectly? Y'all see what he did? He put it butter and then, no, oh, you ain't. Mm, because you told me to. Uh, last time I asked you and you said, I said, like this. That's, no, that's, that's not what happened here, no, sir. That's not what happened here. I said face down. You didn't. But. Uh, did, I, did I did I not did I not say that? Did I not say face down? Did yes, uh huh. Yes, uh huh. Run, run it back. Run it back. Check the tape. And I said like this. And you Check said the tape. Yes. You will. And I said yes. And you said yes. So. Check the tape. We Mike, check the tape and then yeah, and then yeah. put it on there. Yeah, please. It's like a lower third or something like that on the bottom during this part. Play your game. No, we, well, this is not a game. You want to play, play my game? Mm -hmm. Play it back. You want to play? You want, you want, you want play? You want to play? Play it back. B y b h b u b y. What? B y b y. You say b u i though. B u b y b h b h or b y b could be b y b because that's a compound word. Bring your no booty no, home. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's some a woman would tell a man, B Y B A, bring your booty home. <laughs> what else is B Y B H? What could it possibly be? What's B Y B H? Nobody knows. I just made it up. We say it, but I just—it's an acronym. Bring your booty here. Leave, leave it alone. You're the one who said it. Yes, leave it alone because I don't need you to say it out loud. Well, say it in my ear. Okay. No, no, I, okay. Okay, but, but, okay. No, whisper right here. Hell no, you got a mic right there. You're gonna cancel and you're gonna make me lose my account. If I say that, you say why, why, why I gotta put our news all on the thread? Wait, wait, does it mean look at me? Look, look, you better hush. No, well, then what? No. <laughs> okay, has anyone else heard of BYBAs before? No, because I oh, made it right, up. Oh, shoot, you're right, his buns. I made it up. It's not ready yet. I just turned the heat back on. Yeah, you gotta turn it back up, actually. Why, well, yeah, because I. Because it's overly buttery. Hit, like, hit, okay, so far his bun is buttery and delicious. And that's why I said, bring your butt here. Bring your butt home. So I said, wait until later. I, yes, there, there you go. Whoever said that, thank you. But he, but he said it in the open forum. Because I figured you'd get it. Even the buns are ready. The buns are ready. Right? Why don't you make the rest of the sandwiches instead of standing? Face, like the face down, right? I told you I made a mistake. How many times do you want to run it back? Because, you're, because, because yours are perfect. You well, made yours perfect. You learn from your mistakes. It just happened to be with your buns. Yes. I did eight of them wrong so I could have one purpose. Oh! <laughs> Butter your buns, honey? No. What? No! <laughs> Yeah. But I'm gonna win. So what happens when I what happens when I win though? I, I never play that game unless I'm yes, gonna win. Yes, but you're not gonna never, hey, excuse me, hey Mike, we're we gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna punch a hole through the fourth wall. Don't Mike, did I did I not did I not did I tell I'm not I would never. Don't say face down. Thank you. She said face down. <laughs> but okay, she might have. But when I held it out, did I say like this and she said yes? That's what because I, I may not have been listening, but I showed you and I had the 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 middle part out. I said like this, and you said yes, and I sat him down. So it could just be a mistake. So it could be a draw. But uh, no, you lost this one. No, I didn't lose. You did. I didn't. I don't. I don't know what it's gonna mean, but I'm not gonna you mean go anything because I won. He did. I he play that game. Unless I you lost the game, dude. So anyway, I'm still waiting for uh. Oh, why is it so soggy still? But you have to turn it up now. Cause you put too much butter on it. Uh, I made mistakes. See, I messed mine up. No, you did it on purpose now, so I wouldn't say no, anything. I, no, I promise you I didn't. You want to buy something? I don't. Good. It looks really good, though. There we go. I'm gonna get my water ready. You gonna get your water ready, baby? Mm -hmm. What you gonna put in there? Ice? Mm -hmm. Ice, ice, Vaughn. Dun, 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 dun. Don't use all the ice. He's, he's, he's like, because I use up all the ice all the time. That's why. 
That's why Tawana bought me an ice maker. Thank you, Tawana, you for my amazing ice maker. Don't stop talking over me. You have no right to ever say that to anybody ever in life. The, I'm gonna get back, let me please get back to the, to the camera so I can see it one time. Thank you with the turkey burgers. Thank you. What? Thank you. What? What? And that's all I have to say about that. We need to stop the topic. You go on ahead. Wow, see, so your bread looks nice and perfect. That's a, that's a sin and a shame, I tell you. Just a sin and a shame. What you gotta let people understand is that she runs the ice maker dry twice a week. So nobody has any ice. So, first off, to wonder, you have to call the ice maker for me and the rest of us because we'll have ice now. We so look, at his, look at his perfect buns. We, look at his perfect buns. That's not even right. That's not, see what he did? That's not even right. Not right. You learned your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake. Dude, that ain't that. Let's eight, see. I made eight mistakes and then I got it right. <laughs> Where's the pickle? Oh. <laughs> on my last nerve. I, I have one nerve left, y'all. Just one. He jumps on it like double dutch. Where are the pickles? We're out of pickles. No, we're not. Never out of pickles, you just saying that because you're mad. What, why would I be mad? See? About your perfectly grilled burger buns. Uh. And I'm going to put this ever so gently on top. Look at that. Look at that perfect crab cake. Yo, y'all should see the other side. For real. Watch out. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what are these? Oh, they, they're sweet pickles, though. They are? Oh. Look at the other side of these. Look at these. Look. Front Come door. in. Front door. Come in the front door. Oh, that's Nikki. Oh, you didn't tell her. Come in, Nikki. She can't. I locked it. Oh, he locked it. I don't want people walking in the thing. The door in front door is open. Don't worry about it. Damn, that's all the people we have made. Oh, you want your onions on here? Hey, what is this? What's this big thing right here? This large jar. Those are, oh, they're pickle spears, though. I'm not eating those. Damn. Well, you got your onions. That's cool. You know, you know what? I'm going to try to do it. Ah! Don't you cut that? I'm not five. So, it no, it's it's a crab cake. More, more sauce. Eat more sauce. Please, dear. Those are sweet. I know we don't have. I, I have to have pickles, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Don't like sweet pickles, but. Let's see. So you sure I don't need any mayonnaise with this? There's, it's mayonnaise based. based. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> when we cut it. No. You need to cut it. 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 That is a crab cake sandwich. Look at that. With perfectly grilled bun. Mm -hmm. Just horrible. You mad at me because I learned from my mistake. Man, I bet you coleslaw will be good on there. We got coleslaw. We do have coleslaw. Put it on small and we're not ruining mine. No, no, I didn't lie. We have pickles, but we don't have dill pickles. Okay, sweet. These are sweet pickles. They might not taste the same. They're not going to, but I just want to. I can, I can, something in the sandwich that I ate was calling for pickles. People understand that. Like, you need onion and pickle with this. Ugh, where's the mustard? There it is. It's right there. Yeah. Our amazing Kroger brand mustard. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your mustard. Shake your mustard. No. It's a lot of mustard. You sure you don't need to cut it? Oh, well, I need to cut it. It's a, it's a burger. Yeah. Just a normal burger. It's cool. Well, can you grab and arrange it? Jeez, you've been making the same sandwich for about five minutes now. Can I, can I eat it my own place? Yes. No, the, the way you eat. <laughs> the way you eat. 
It tastes. I'm, Just I'm eat it. Do, so let, let them taste done. it. I'm typically. They can't taste it. I'm, I'm typically no, done. Uh, they want to see you taste it, though. I'm typically done before you even start. You got to make all your sauces and all your little. Yes, Von Duff. Sharice Scott. Yes, Von does have the best crab cake in the house because he made sure that he did. Oh boy, Mike, can you eat put onions on and pickle on your what? First of all, they don't eat crab meat. You don't eat crab meat. Why? We're talking about it. Oh. Thank you, you Shavera Smith. Mustard, well, yes, mu mustard does complement seafood. Yes, it does. But that's why there's mustard in the batter. I mean, I, I put mustard yes, in the crab cake. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. Mm. Take a bite. I don't want a bite. To. I don't want the bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, mm, I don't want it. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. That wasn't ready. Really... That's it. Okay, let me get this in right here. I mean, it's delicious. But, I mean, what else would it be? Holy cow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cut down mm -hmm. the sweetness of this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, this is so good. Makes you do the choir clap. Oh it's the crab cake floor. So y'all don't eat crab. Thank you for the crab. Thank you for the crab floor. Thank you for the crab. So Dr. Lord. Brown is small, so she don't eat a lot. She's a little teeny You only want one? Good. The rest don't eat the rest. Of and my 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 chef friend that keeps telling you guys about who said that she's gonna come and never come. She actually came today. Come over here. Come over here. Come on, Doc. Come on, Nikki. This is my chef friend, Nikki, Nikki M. And she's really great, and she lives right down the street, and she's an amazing chef, really? and I love her. I love you too. Yep. Come on, Doctor Brown. Oh my God. Come on, Doctor Brown. You're cute. Oh, wow, that'd be so funny if you knocked that out of his hand. He, he would be so mad <laughs> if you not, because she was going to knock it out of your hand. But you know him; he would pick it up off the ground and eat it. And he's so nasty. He's so na the apples aren't done yet; they're on the timer. And, and oh, I forgot to hit timer. Tag it. This is Dr. Brown. This is our other very good friend. Dr. And Dr. Brandy Brown. <laughs> she does everything from general to weight loss to everything. Hey, Pupples. Hey, David oh Brown. <laughs> hey, Dr. Amity. That's our other friend. That's Dr. Amity. You need to, you need to make yourself one. This is really good. She wants an apple. Who does? Doc, you can get an apple if you want an apple. Mm. Hey, David. I mean, I wanted that one, but I so can't believe. Tell them the name of your practice. Well, well, no, what the hell? Tell them the name of your Doesn't she look like Stephanie Mills? No, not Doesn't start she? That. I didn't Do say it. Don't start that. Don't start look, it. I didn't say it. Don't start that. Somebody else said it. It's, but it's true. You do remind What's me of Stephanie Mills. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't she? I know. She's the cutest little thing. Miss you too, Dave. I saw you on your social media. Tell them the name of your practice. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Oh, it's extraordinary family health care. <laughs> and she has delicious candles. Jesus. Boom. You shouldn't so even be having that. Okay, because you're being rude to the food. I don't care. Not rude to the food. <laughs> Not rude to. I'm gonna start using that. She said you're being rude to the food. Mm. And that's what it is. Mm. You know what? I the Dijon mustard is also really good, but I don't have any. And sometimes I have um the mustard with the horseradish, which is really delicious. It's a great accompaniment. For you guys, mm. I don't know. Doesn't she look like Stephanie? Did you you thought it was Stephanie, but it's not. Is she mm -hmm. just looks a lot like her? And she's just a cute little thing. And if then, was, and if it was Stephanie, we'd have her singing. Yeah, and she, and Chef Nikki has a cookbook coming out, and I'm doing her forward. I'm very excited about it. You're welcome. Oh God. Where can you get the candles? Where can you get the candles? Come over here, Doc. What is Doctor Brown's contact information again? Come, here, Doc. Come on, you need to cut it. <laughs> While I check on these apples. Go on the live and put your, and your name in there so we can finish. Yes, Ooh. sir. This My back so far. tells me everything to do, and I just do it. 
when you said do it. No. <laughs> these need about 12 more minutes, guys, these little apples and stuff. And I'm excited about these little apple dumplings. I think I'm more excited about the apple dumplings because oh I never had them before. This is so good. I'm done with my sandwich. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Dr. Brown, where's your office? Mm. In Snellville, Georgia. It's in Snellville, Georgia. Oh, yeah. You might tell me to get out. You tell me to get out. No, she does she does the weight loss shots, by the way. I haven't been using them yet, but we're about to start because you know what goes up must come down. But not me, clown. Mm -hmm. What y'all know? What y'all know about what y'all know about that song? Here. Yep, that's yep, that's her. Dr. Brandy. Yep, that's her. So I will be skinny in the upcoming weeks. Don't be jealous. What I'm about to do. Ooh, what am I supposed to do when I'm skinnier than you? And then you realize that my stomach don't touch my thighs. <laughs> you married me. I died, I did. Oh gosh. I ain't know the whole thing. <sighs> <laughs> I got plenty of break. I'm, I'm, I'm full. <laughs> oh, so you about, you're about full as a chick, aren't you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. Yes, yeah, she does look like Miss Stephanie Mills, Shawnee for K, sure. Yeah. That black. Yeah, he fin yeah, he finished that burger quick, fast, in a hurry. Mm -mm. I need the weight loss shots. Listen, I do too. I do. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that in my life. My weight is way too high. I need to cut it. Cut it. <laughs> cut it. Cut it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna cut this weight right in half. Uh, in half. Yeah, half. Do you want to weigh half of what you weigh now? Mm -hmm. Nah. No. Nah, you'll be back on the market. Yeah, whatever. Half of what you weigh now. I will not be back on the market ever. Gross. 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 That's not gross. Half of what you weigh now would be absolutely horrible. It's not horrible. It would be. Be fun. No, no. Why is your Can shirt you? off? I don't because it got stretched out. You're stretched out. I'm gonna leave that where it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's idea. Yo, it's almost done. It's almost Oh, Dennis, I probably, anyway. somebody, do you take Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield up? Yeah. Yes. She takes all of them. Well, you take all of them? Yes. She even takes yeah. Ambetter. Yes, you take Ambetter. She even takes Ambetter. Ambetter, what that's what that's what doctor's supposed to make you feel. No, I no, am no. better. <laughs> let, 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 that's let, a, hey, let the adults talk about this. Like that. Yeah, she does. Anyway. I am I am a lot better. Together. Um I, was gonna say. I don't know, but he got jealous because Dr. Brown and I became closer friends. I didn't get jealous. Yes, uh huh. I didn't get jealous. No, 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 no. No, it was just that one time where I called her, she didn't answer, and then she called your phone, so I hung up on her. I think the mustard in the sauce and the crab mix, the sweet pickles, with, you know, it was actually good. When I took a bite out of it, the sweet pickle wasn't too bad. It, the, the onion brought the sweetness down. I, now I can taste the after effects of the pickle now, sweet pickle now, but as I was eating it, it, it wasn't it wasn't overbearing. I hate sweet pickles, but I knew I needed something pickle-ish. And it, ugh, it was good. We had wedges in there, but they wouldn't have gone well. Carmela, you 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 caught that? <laughs> she said, look, not realize that my stomach don't touch my thighs. <laughs> it's, it's they have their own day. personal, it's their own personal day. relationship. Like all anyway, anyway, we need to talk about our topic. Okay. Um, that's, the topic's not down there. But okay. That's gonna sidetrack. Um, the topic today. Okay, so we saw a uh, uh, social media. Or, so we saw a social media post, and it was talking about how a teacher had to supplement her income by selling her plasma. By selling plasma, and she also had another side job. Yeah, she had two. She had two. No, she had two side jobs, and and sold her plasma. plasma. It's on my. It's on my Instagram. You can see it. And uh, you ask these people to educate your children from the ground up. I mean, they have to be disciplinarians. 
you know, they have to be counselors, they have to be nurses because your kid gets hurt. You know, they 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 have to be peacemakers. They have to do everything. And in some horrible cases, they have to be human shields. You know, when the ultimate horrible thing happens. And we can't pay these people. It's it's a it's a travesty. I mean, I there's a there's a post on my and, and Mike will edit it into the uh final cut of this, but it's it shows how we talked about this a couple weeks ago about we're in a recession, but people don't realize it because everybody's still working. But the illustration that Mike is going to put in, it's 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 what a house cost back in the 90s versus what it costs now. Measured against what a teacher was making in the 90s and what they're making now. And it's it's obvious to see that's where the problem lies. And I've said this since I was younger. I've adjusted it a little bit because of inflation, but I think that a starting salary for a teacher should be about seventy-five thousand dollars, and they should top out at about three hundred. I'm not talking about a professor or principal. I'm talking about teachers. I'm talking about a kindergarten teacher should, you know, after three to five years, be making three hundred thousand dollars because it's not an easy job. It's necessary. Well, they have to take care of at least twenty-eight to thirty-one children all day in a all classroom day. with so many different personalities, so many different home all issues. issues. Yes, all that. And these children, they a lot of times they don't know how to handle it and they bring that into the classroom. And the teacher has to be the teacher, the parent, the instructor, counselor. sometimes, yeah, the counselor and everything else. And people, you know, fail to realize, and these teachers, a lot of them, they don't want to put certain things in your child's record that follows you from, you know, grade one all the way through high school because they're like, okay, I want to coddle this kid. I want to, you know, just show them a different way. And I'd have to put it in a, in a, um, in a folder that will make them, you know, however, pre-systematic. However, if, if, you, if it goes unreported and something happens later and they they're, ask why you didn't, why you didn't report this, then you're liable. So they're just in an impossible and they're in an impossible position. But and sometimes they're stuck buying supplies. Yes. For these children as well. I mean, so they've got to come out of their pocket because the kid doesn't have. Uh, uh, pencils, doesn't have notebook, doesn't have construction paper, glue, whatever, you know, and then some of these teachers are, are, are bringing, you know, to the positive or bringing, uh, or putting a balance on, um, on these people's, on the kids, uh, lunch, uh, lunch allowance or whatever. I do have this, I do have to say this though, when I grew up and I might be talk, talk, telling my age, I'm, I'm not sure, but when I grew up though, it wasn't the parents' responsibility to bring the crayons and the paper and the workbooks the and the you said yes, the parents. the parents. It was not the parents. It was not the parents who bought who, it. Who, who did? You came to school and you had the workbooks and stuff there, and the, and the ditto sheets and the pencils saying, and stuff. With there, we had like a pencil box with like our crayons and our pencils. So you're saying the school provided that? Well, yeah, where I went to school, school you went and you went to private school. Well, we, right, we didn't know you, you, everything was on you. We didn't have. There's no budget. For I that. don't. I don't remember that. No, we know. But maybe I just didn't know because my parents were the ones paying for it. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. But now they want reams of paper. Now they want a bunch of boxes of tissue. And I'm not saying that the parents shouldn't help, but there's no. It's your kids. You should help. No, th th yeah, yeah, I didn't finish. Like you told me, I didn't finish. You gotta let me get it right. Uh, I'm not because they were trying to say at first that our taxpayers' dollars. Help facilitate that and pay for that, like our workbooks and you know our reading materials and things of that sort. But now it's not like that because every kid used to be able to have their own workbook and and school book material and were able to take it home. But now they're talking about okay, do homework, and now everything is online, and the kids can't even take the book home as a reference, and it's not fair. And then, and wait, kid, wait, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Because the kid might not have internet, and that that's true too. But now they, they I think they provide a lot of that now for. Kids, especially it was during COVID, Some. and like laptops there's and still, things, things still, of that nature. That people. Absolutely, absolutely. But at the same token, a lot of these new fangled things that they're teaching in schools, the parents didn't grow up that way. They don't know how to do this, rounding stuff up to the nearest tenth, and then you got to change the numbers. Thirty-two minus twelve used to be what thirty-two minus twelve was, and that was thirty-five instead of. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thirty-two minus five is not twenty, by the way. You said thirty-two minus twelve. Well, whatever. Okay. Well, <laughs> but you know what I'm getting at. This is not a math class. I wasn't trying to do the exact that's math, but that's what that's what God made you cute. It's cool. For, I have a whole entire degree. You're not going to do that to me. Anyway, you know, and and the thing is, the teeth, the, the the parents, 
Not know. only do they not have the time, because they are working two jobs themselves, themselves and, the, and the kids, you know, are, you know, they're being watched by the, the, the video box babysitter, yeah. whether it be television mm -hmm. or videos themselves. And they're out here talking to these strangers. Yeah. It's, it's difficult and it's difficult for teachers because then teachers have to just assume all of that I'm, mishmash of, you know, I'm, just personalities. I'm sorry. I And kids who want to fight their, and kids who want to fight their teachers. Like, come on. Yeah, I. I, I would quit. I would not. If, we, if you're trying to fight, come if on. you're trying to fight, look. Let's go. Because yeah. I'm like, dig them. I'm like, smack. You give me a smack and I'll smack you back. There you go. You I'm not it. doing it. No, I'm, qu I'm quitting. I'm quitting. But I, you say that you showed up to school and you stuff is there. I bet. You know what? We're going to see your dad. If you come and ask him how much of that stuff he dropped off. Two more minutes. Um, I, I don't agree. Can you let it go all the way so I don't have to scrub, please? Um, you need to scrub it. Yeah, scrub it. Scrub it, scrub it. Back to the topic. Yes. Um, I think if you have a key. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <clears throat> no, I got it. Okay, I'm not gonna use your dawn. You're gonna use too much. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Would you? Wait, wait. Uh, Doctor Brown has her hand up. Well, now you got to come over here. You want to talk? Come on. Seriously. You get, no, no. You don't do that. No, go ahead. Right up front. I'd like to know when I get to have a crab cake because he got to eat his mine. Oh, mine is going to be that is so off okay. topic. <laughs> Get away. I thought she had something some to, say. to say. Yes. Yeah, you can come over here and make it yourself. Come on. I'm not, you want well, ja ja make? Jacqueline Bernardo said that she's a teacher and parents should buy school supplies, but they Thank don't. You. I'm not suggesting that they Thank shouldn't. You. I'm not suggesting that. That's exactly that. what I'm saying. No, you think so. yeah, it's not done. So I, I'm, I think if, if you have a kid, <clears throat> you you need to supply everything that the kid needs to learn, you know, within reason, you know. But I, I too much too much is put on the teachers. They're they they have you know they're buying coats for some of these kids. They're thank you, Dashney. Schools was, the supplies were provided for us too. I think that's a Maryland thing. You know, in private schools, my parents had to pay for everything. Even 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 our textbooks. Oh, look at that. My mom sold royal crown hair grease for our supplies. I, we just bought some today. We did, but no, we had to. We had to buy. Uh, my parents had to buy my brother and I's textbooks and er I mean everything. Nothing was provided, and I'm not saying that that should be the standard because it shouldn't. That's that's that was a choice that my parents made to send us there. But my point is, is you can't, you shouldn't be relying on these teachers to to supply things for your kids. There needs to be a fund. There's a, there needs to be fundraisers or, or, or donations or something. We should definitely do one this school we year. Should, but you know what? We're going to. Yeah, we should definitely period. do We're that. Going to. Right. But the teachers, you're asking them to do too much. I mean, teaching in and of itself is hard enough. But then you've got all the other ancillary things that come with having a room full of small people. And I got to say it's unfair. And I think the least we could do is pay them. Well, I don't know that we can pay a teacher what they're worth because they're, they're kind of invaluable. You know, you, you want your kids to grow up, graduate high school, go to college and all that. Well, a teacher did that. You did. You dropped them off in the morning. And then you came back and picked them up with the school uh, bus, dropped them off or whatever. And you may have helped 30 minutes for some more. Teachers did all that other stuff. And there's no appreciation for them, and it makes me sick. That's, I, mean, I wish that there was more something I could do about it. There isn't, but it just it just eats me up when you see a woman who's she's and this lady. Look on my on my uh, Instagram page. She's been in I think it says 16 years experience. She has a master's. Yeah, yep, she has yep, a yep. Master's degree. She has two side jobs, and she sells plasma to survive. What are we doing? Well, I have a friend, her name is Amity, and she is a whole doctor, yeah. Dr. Lutz, and she is not a professor. She works in regular, like, elementary school, and she does, she goes over and above where she buys yep. extra supplies, yep. and then, she, and like, she has a whole PhD, and as a side hustle, she still tutors, tutors. with a whole PhD.
What other? Yeah, I'm a curse. I'm just don't. don't curse. Not... We're working on it. Damn. So, and I, I this, I'm, I'm just, this is just yeah. me. This is just me. And I've never been that single parent. So don't judge me, but I will say this. Parents need to start, they need to set the standard for when their children go to school. You, when parents get that phone call, kids need to be afraid. And kids are not afraid anymore. They're not afraid of their parents. They have no reverent fear. Put it that way, because I don't think I don't, you should be afraid of your parents. I'm talking about reverent fear. The apples are almost done, my dear. Okay. Go ahead. Are you done yet? Well, I'll go ahead and finish. Go ahead. I got, I got No, it. no, go ahead. You go ahead. So we have it's a, like, like wait till your father gets home or nothing. You know, you don't have that anymore. Even wait till your mother gets home. Uh, this right here, right here. Would you fix it? Clean up my hands wet. Thanks. Yes. And so what I'm saying, there there are no consequences for when kids act a fool in school because they come home, their parents aren't there because they're busy working trying to make ends meet, and the kid doesn't do his homework, and it's just brother, it's horrible. My brother and I got three spankings. The school called home, and we got home, my grandmother watched us. So she gave us a spanking, it was nothing. She was 4'11". She wasn't going to do anything. If she, she would, about half the time she gave a spanking, she'd start crying. So there's nothing. Then my mom got home. She went crying when she spanked us. And then if it was real bad, when my dad got home, it was a bad night. It was a real bad night. But that's how I grew up. I was, I was more afraid of my father than any thug in the street any police officer, any, anybody. It was my dad set the standard. And I think that's part of the problem. Well, everybody doesn't have that. No, but, mm. I, but that's but that's the problem. That's the problem. Don't make kids and walk away from them. That's a whole nother topic. But if you make a kid, it's your responsibility. To the day you die, it's your, it's your job. Wait, can you leave this right here for one oh, moment? Well, that's one Thank you. But anyway, what do you guys think about uh, Watch out, babe. Chris Rock talked about that in stand-up? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but it's Come on, come make a sandwich. Apples are done. Nikki, if you want to eat, come on, make it. I don't, don't want to make food. I want to eat. Well, personally, my son is scared of me. He isn't. He is scared of me. Dear, your son respects you. He's not afraid of you. Is you, when I grew up, the, the the principal used to be able to paddle us too. I never got a paddle, by the way, but it oh, was so the, the ability. <laughs> That, that's no problem. Let me tell you something. I didn't need to get a paddle because if I acted a fool in school, which I never did, I would come home and get a beating from mommy and then daddy. Okay. Right. So, and I look delicious. I did. You you what Papa say? Don't they look delicious? Coach Wallace. If you were if you were late to class, you go to Coach Wallace. I'm late. If you were late, you get attention, or you take. A, uh, a swat from Coach Wallace and a paddle and a back with your holes in. Good but gracious. Oh, yeah, my fingers are What thing is ready? That. It came out. For well, the dishwasher? Yeah. Well, I bleached it and then put it in the dishwasher. Who? Hey, Kadori! Hey, Kadori! Anyway, read some of those. What, what do you guys think about teacher salaries? And, and the load that we place on them. You know, and then we keep the kid, parents want to get mad for the kid doesn't do well in school. They want to get mad and the kid is disciplined. So we had an educator we were talking to. I won't say the person's name because I can't. But they had a, they had a, a, a girl. She's a high school in high school. Oh wow! Jeez. Yeah, you know what? Let Dr. Brown have the first one since she's over there crying. Um, uh, <laughs> hey, Doc, don't, don't let him do you that way. But, um, right, come on, Vaughn, don't do me like that. But she said that they had a girl that they had to put, because of what she wore to school, they had to put her in a room because it was inappropriate. She wore like a wrong with her shirt with the sequins on it. Excuse me. And some jeans that were too low on the stomach thing. A, a stomach thing? You mean a half top, a half shirt? No, 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 no. A belly ring or something? Oh, the belly beads. Yeah, that. The stomach thing. Anyway, so um, they put her in this room by herself and told her to call her mother 
and they thought that they would get support. When the mom got there, the mom walked in with almost the same thing on. <laughs> and then she, she's like, I, just, I, I give up. What, what am I going to do? Who is that for? Ah, oh. Who is that for? Me? Ow. No, everything is not for you. Wait a minute. I want that. You just said to give it to Dr. Brown first. Dr. Brown, you want this first or you want your dinner first? Well, we, at this point, I want the hot stuff first. Well, come get the hot stuff first, little baby. Eat it on here. Y'all let the people taste, as you see. Oh, taste and sing that the desert is good. Babe, get off her head, her little baby head. Don't be talking about my husband. No, he doesn't. He looks like Herman Yumster. Is it delicious? Yes, and I love the dough. It's all smooth and nice and doughy, and it's hot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Be the first for the children and the teachers, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a. What, what you do? I'm going to get my own. You're not, there's plenty in there. You can go home with me. No, they're not. You can't get <laughs> You can't eat all that. Well, I know, yes. I know Amity <laughs> wants some. I sure am. <laughs> Got to make some for Amity. <laughs> so I guess Bond needs to taste it now. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I keep missing what some of you guys are saying, and I apologize. In a bowl. I, no, yes, Yvette Holland. I said Dear I was full Yvette. from the food. Dear Yvette. The thing, the thing about ice cream is it will always just slide through. There's always room for ice cream. Uh, 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 just a little bit. Just a little. Li just a little. That's not worth a little. That was a lot. Then you should have made your own. Well, I, okay. If I'm not making it right, then you make your own. Okay. Not too bad, dude. Yeah. Oh, another one. Another scoop? Yeah. I'm get some more water. There's more water. And there's Cool Whip, just in case. Nope. Well, some people don't like ice cream or dairy and stuff like that. Ear. We're going to see how Bond likes it. We all know. <laughs> huh? Can you hurry up and taste it? I got to get water because it's sweet. I'm going to need water. I'm sweet. You don't keep drinking water after you kiss that's, me. That's not true. I do it every time. <laughs> you want to get a spoon or something? Yes, ma'am. What'd you say? I said diabetes. Diabetes? That's your Excuse me. Well... Let me try ice cream first. But that's probably gonna taste like ice cream. Mm -hmm. I love ice cream. So I had to see which part. Hurry up, man! Would be the ice cream. Part. So he's gonna work on my last little nerve. You, do, you don't have to stand as close to me either. I don't mean, you're stand. Touching well, move me. over. Can't move move over. Can't move yes. Uh huh. Is. Oh. Ah, how you moved? Yeah. Damn. It's good? Nice, babe. Wow. She was, you know, the, you said the crust, the dough. Man, here, eat this. Uh-uh. Here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Golly. How'd you do this and not know how to do it? It's good. Mm. I gotta make some for Papa. It's hot. Jen, Jen, come on over here. It's gonna be real, real good. Since you don't, since, since you don't eat crab, which I don't understand, does it make you blow up? How many y'all want? Like three? Is that what it is? It make you sick? You want ice cream with it? I got a friend, Mama L, my best friend. I'm gonna say his name. Uh, G Mama, Bobby Collins. We went, we were younger, and we went to uh, Red Lobster, and we played uh, AAU basketball together, and we won, so they took us to eat with Red Lobster. What are you doing? Who is that for? That's for Popple, that's for Amity, Chef Nikki, oh. and Mama L. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for rationing up the food that you didn't cook. I sous-chefed all that food. What are you talking about? I rolled those. Anyway, 
So, so they probably shouldn't eat it. Huh? You have ice cream? Hold you want ice cream in it? Mm. Mm. I lost my train of thought. Oh my God. Hey. Hey. What? Yes, Bon Alfred. You stuck your foot in this. So I take it that tonight was a success. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about it. So we had crab cakes and. What's this apple thing called? These little apple dumplings. They were really good. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're, they're really good. So they're, they, yeah, I'm not even going to lie. Show them again. Hold on. Mm, I'll do it. No, no, because now your hands are dirty. You've been eating. My hands are dirty. I don't eat with my hands. Yo, these turned out like really well. I will be making these again. I like the way they cook together, too. Yeah, they turned I, out very well. I want you to try them without the green soda next time, though. But I think that's, what, that's part of what makes it. Less green soda. Well, I didn't put the whole thing of green soda in there. We don't even we don't even drink that. Well, nobody the recipe called for it. Mm. No. Well, you did put it down with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. After you finish chewing. Mm -mm. You do have some left. Mm-hmm. How much was it supposed to be? Twelve ounces. And you put in six? Pro no. Like four or five. Really? Mm-hmm. Cause it already looked it looked liquidy to yeah. me, and I didn't know. I was like, it looked a little too liquidy. Well, you did right, and you can definitely taste it in here. Not like that. Can you take? You can't taste the the uh, the citrus soda. I, I can. I, are you gonna tell me what I can taste? Cause I just tasted it too. You smell things all the time. I can't smell. How are you going? That's we're different people. Let me I smell can. you right now. I'm smell. Mm. <laughs> you smell good. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go. Let's do it. Food comes first. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Oh. Yo, we have to go. We got things. It's 8.44, you guys. We've been here for really? an hour and 45 minutes. We have to go. You no, it means you talk too much. We appreciate you guys so much. Let us know what you guys think about the recipes. Let us know what you guys have actually tried. Oh, my God. That's so good. And what you think about it. We appreciate you guys' time. We appreciate you guys coming to see us every week. Yeah, thank you. For your thank time. you guys for going in hard with us. Feet in the paint. Playing in the paint. Hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. With 10 toes down. Trina, no. Absolutely not. That doesn't make sense. It makes in complete hard, sense. Hard, hard, hard in the paint with 10 toes down. No, baby. You don't, you don't use those things together. And you didn't. You... Yes, I hung. Good. Back. You didn't go. Boom. And it's good. You want to blow off your ACL. Well, <laughs> I have no, it's not, I don't need it. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. You, we appreciate you thank guys. You. Thank, thank you, you for your comments. You Those who have sent um, badges, thank you for your badges. And uh, we will see you guys thank next you week. Guys. We'll probably do something on Wednesday Sounds or like Thursday to see, and, to see what you guys want us to cook next Monday. Thank you. We're both talking yes, over each you. other. Can't understand what we're saying. You're doing Crawford. And it's fine. Robert Jackson, Janet, LaShawn. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Tanisha Harrington. We're going to go. I'm going to stop. Nick Lake. And, and actually, we are on YouTube already. This is telling the truth. Miss, lady. Is it Trina's world? Talking life. Thank you. Desiree Brown. C. Trina Braxton's Evans, world. So. Sheila Adams. LaShawn Rush. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. We're going to eat. And. I'm not. I'm, I'm already full. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, we're eating everything up. Hey, mommy. Thank you for watching. And guys, don't forget, go to EvelynBraxton.com to get some of her wooden spoons. You know spoons. what? Those things are real sturdy, too. Yes, they are. They're really good. Yeah, yeah. And they say, they don't, cook it with Miss E on there, too. They don't flex like some of the other ones we have. They're, they're strong. They got good tensile strength. So. Oh, thank you. The person at Houston's, if you see me again, please come and say hello. They'll, they'll last. You'll last. Mm, I do, don't I? I'm going to leave that where it is. Cause we're in the kitchen. El Marie and uh, McCree. MJ Dream Travel. We're gonna go. Thank you guys. Travel I said goodnight night. like four times. Like four times. Thank all of you for coming. So I appreciate you guys. We will see you guys next week. And nobody want people talking over their food and stuff. So this we're is, gonna go. This is our food. It's not just ours. Other people have to partake. She had one. All oh, they haven't had one. <laughs> that still doesn't mean you talk over food. That's nasty. Good night, guys. Thanks again. See you next week. And, and 
Good night. Thank you for coming out. God bless you and good night. I, I can't live my life this way. Bye, y'all. No, Thanks eat again. again. I'll, eat, I'll eat all of it. Good night. 8,000. <laughs>